Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders. We problem solvers. Temple Builders safety first. Okay, Temple Builders. Today we're talking about how to use your miter box. This big yellow box right here is your miter box. Now, I got two cam pens and a carpenter's pencil stored right here in my storage bin. This type of saw right here is called a back saw. As you can see right here on my whiteboard, back saw. Now, the back of this back saw is reinforced in order to stiffen my blade of my saw in order to make straight and accurate cuts. Now, DIYers, beginners, and advanced carpenters all use your miter box. It's used for precise cuts, baseboards, shoe molding, door trim, and etc. Okay, now let's focus on our different angles on our whiteboard that we got right here. We got three different angles. So right here, I got a 45 degree miter joint. Right here, I got a 22.5 degree miter joint. And right here, I have a 90 degree butt joint. Now, if I wanted to cut my lumber square and create a 90 degree butt joint, then I simply have to take my saw and put it in my zero or 90 degree slot. That's right here. Okay, right here, I got labeled zero. And right here, I got 90 degrees. Okay, that's the same slot zero and 90 are complementary angles okay so we got two more angles left right so if i wanted to cut a 45 degree miter joint i can put my saw in my 45 degree slot either right here okay or either over here right there okay now right here we have a 22.5 degree angle or miter joint and it's the same thing I got 22.5 labeled right here, so I can put my saw right here in this slot, and also in my other 22.5 degree slot, which is right here. Simple as that. Now, let me show you how to do this right here on the table. Let's cut some wood. Now, let's look under our miter box, and as you can see right here, I got what's called overhang feet, okay? Let's open these up in order for me to catch the edge of my work table. Now, there's a hole right here to put a screw, and there's a hole right here to put a screw in order to stabilize your miter box, okay? Now, I'm not gonna stabilize my miter box like this. I'm gonna take this screw out. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my clamps. Okay, for my quick grips. Now I can put my clamps right here on this side. Tighten it down. Okay, get my other grip. Come to the opposite side. Put it right here. And this will work for me. There we go. And let's cut some wood. Okay, let's cut this 90 degree butt joint using this scrap piece of trim I got right here. Let's do it. So I've already made my measurement. Here's my little tick mark right here. Okay, so I can use my square to make a line. Now I'm gonna move my work piece right along my fence right here. Okay, in this application, I want it flat. I got zero degrees right here on this slot and I got zero degrees right here on this slot. Now I'm gonna use my cam pins, okay? To come right here, put one right, this is gonna hold my workpiece. I put it in my hole and then I turn it. It applies pressure, okay? Do the same on the other side. I put it in my hole right here and then I can turn it. Right with the applied pressure. Okay, keep it sturdy on my fence. Now I'm gonna use my back saw, all right? Put it in my zero mark. And what I like to do is, I like to pull back on the saw to start a curve. Okay. About three times. I've gone through. Okay. 
two square cut pieces can be put together to make a 90 degree joint. Now, let's make a 45 degree miter joint. Okay, so I got my trim piece snug up to my fence. My cam pins are holding it in place. I also have a 45 degree identification mark right here on my miter box. I got a tick mark right here, okay, on my trim piece. So I'm going to use my 45 degree slot to cut a 45 degree miter cut, okay? Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, I got one piece cut at 45 degrees. I'm going to sit this over here. Now, I put me another piece in here. It's held down by my cam pins. We first started off with these two slots right here. 45 right here, 45 right here. Now we're going to go, this is where we started off at, in these slots. Now, to create my other piece, I'm going to go in my opposite 45 degree slots, which is right here. Okay. Let's do it. There we go. Putting my two 45 degree cuts together, you can see we make a nice mitered 45 degree joint. This 45 degree miter joint is the same way you'll make a 22.5 degree miter joint. Now, these are called miter joints because the cut is on the face of your lumber. Now, let's take a look right here. This is your bevel cut, okay? This is a 45 degree bevel now this cut or this angle cut is made through the thickness of your lumber see right here now you use these two slots in order to make your 45 degree bevel let's pull that on it to create our curse <laughs> These two pieces together make a bevel joint. Okay, one disadvantage of your miter box is it only has three common angles, which is zero, which is also 90, uh, 45, and 22.5. Now, anything in between there, you're gonna need a compound miter saw. And I'm gonna do an in-depth video on this compound miter saw and how to use it. Now, if you like this information, hit the like button, subscribe, become my apprentice. Temple, build.